Everything you need to know about the restrictions of PIP. The Toxic Substances Control Act in the United States regulates the presence of certain chemicals that are persistent, bioaccumulative, and toxic. One of these substances is PIP. PIP stands for phenol isopropylated phosphate. It essentially has a multitude of functions and it can be used for different applications. So we can often find them in products such as adhesives, epoxy resin, flame retardants, lubricants, and even plasticizer. Now you may wonder why PIP is regulated. This is because of its hazardous nature. PIP actually represents a significant danger to the aquatic life. And what we mean by the aquatic life, it's the aquatic plants, aquatic invertebrates, and the fishes. And not only that, there is research that shows that PIP can have a negative impact on organs such as the liver and the lungs. Now, if you're a company that manufactures or distributes products with PIP, how can you comply with all these regulations? The answer is pretty straightforward. You must simply provide a written warning concerning the prohibition on manufacturing articles with PIP and its releases to water. EnviroPass is always here to help you. If you're a company that was affected by this new regulations about PIP, we suggest you to use our EPEC form. This EPEC form will allow you to collect all the information that you need to assess if your product has PIP.